Who actually won in 1945? Seriously. What the fuck? And how can so many people... Not how. We've been watching it over so many different issues in the last few years. Blind. Blinded. <sighs> to any truths. Blinded to the ability to use their own brains. Like they just can't. They don't know how. Oh, there's so much. There's so much going through my brain. Like, I'm listening to... Dunk, 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 dunk. Right there. Right? Like... Can you hear it? Last night they had a rave or something. They had a something, that's for sure. And they've been kind of leading up to it. The night before, day before, my days and nights are a little mixed up because of living half my time there. <laughs> Vicariously through my phone. do it on it, it's on purpose right like because they're speaking in English like I don't I'm not sure is it supposed to like be disheartening it is because they're humans but their lack of humanity is just questions you know theoretical questions what would you have done who would you have stood with who do you blame do you blame the soldiers or do you blame the people that are running the soldiers you know all the things who would you have helped would you have spoke up would you have hid somebody in your attic or your cellar well, no, you don't have to do anything. You just have to pick up your phone. And, and you can like things. You can comment on things. You can write officials. You can call officials. You can talk to your, your family about what's going on and... and you don't have to go there. But why is it so hard for people to just see other people as people? Why, 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 right? I know why. The colonizers do a good job. They've had a lot of practice. And, and I think they've been working up to this. You know? They do such a good job. They do such a good job that on this continent, it's less than 7% of the original peoples of this land, on this land. And 
and people keep dwindling for many reasons. Mostly because, you know, truth and reconciliation is a load of BS unless you're actually willing to make it public. Talk about it publicly, about the fact of why these communities are the way they are. That's because they were set up that way. There isn't the supports in place. Anywhere. So why am I surprised? I'm not surprised. Why am I questioning? Why people aren't doing anything? Not everybody. Not everybody, right? Not all people are just sitting with their thumbs up their butt. Not all people are supporting this. But not enough people are saying no. Never again to anyone. More people need to be saying that. This can't continue. This or anywhere else. I hear they're going to send them to Congo. There needs to be change. And the people need to do the changing. Because the systems that are in place are not there for the people. People of the global majority need to put your petty shite aside. And decide what you actually want in the long run. We have to decide what kind of long game we're going to play. Because that's what they did. And this is where we are. But again, what do I know? I'm just a loony old lady in a dilapidated trailer, barely surviving. So, anyway, venting, ranting, pleading. I don't know what else to do. Harmony, happiness, health, and all the hope that enough people say no, never again to anyone. Bye for now.